Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Okay, you guys, this message is going to be for all of my Aries. For all of my Aries, I'm going to go ahead and ground for all of my Aries. I can do it, y'all. All right, all right, all right. Holy Father, Spirit, guys, angels, ancestors, speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. Okay, so the first card out is the sun. So, with the sun, um, so, with the sun is everything, right? The sun is everything. You have everything. So, there may, and then look, we we'll flipped over two weeks. So you definitely could be getting something surprising or something unexpected or something that you didn't feel like it would be your wishes fulfilled or, you know, you didn't ever think that it would actually happen in the next two weeks coming up. What's going on? I saw some bad habits there. So there's definitely something that you have been contemplating, but you definitely need to follow your intuition on that, right? And there has been something that's been taking a lot of energy from you. This person is definitely an energy vampire. They never want anything for real. They just always want something, right? And it's always draining after this experience. And this person, they don't want nothing. Papa was a rolling stone. They a hoe. You know that. You know that. They, they really can't be honest and get their shit together. And look. So this is blank, and I left this blank on purpose. So it's like you have a clean slate. So you have this opportunity for a clean slate. And look what came after that. Yes. So so continue to do what you've been doing. Look, and whenever this person comes to you with this stuff that you know that's going to leave you stuck in, stuck in your head, that they just want to go ahead and suck your energy, don't do it again. Don't let yourself be sucked into that, right? Because all they're doing is saying what you want to hear. And I do see somebody coming up that could definitely be a, a true love type situation for you, right? They could definitely be a true love type situation. And it could definitely, look, somebody that's watching you. They're definitely observing you. They're studying you. They're, they're trying to see how to come forth, right? manifesting something so you've been manifesting something something that you're manifesting is definitely going to come into fruition so that's just like confirmation right so we have confirmation for that that's what i said whenever i initially turned on this video right that there's something that's going to be unexpected like a, a, a veil that you didn't even think was possible in your life that's about to happen but you are a very powerful manifester and i see that the group that i'm reading for today that's been working on themselves right you have everything in in your hand. And, and once this comes, it's going to be like you floating. Like you floating on thin air because you didn't believe that this was actually going to come into fruition for you. But it definitely is. Look. And then we have a new life. So for sure. This, and look. Look after that. After that, we have the milk and honey. Yes, yes, yes. So we have the new life and we have the milk and honey. So for sure, you're, you're going to be definitely like looking back at where you have been and, and being so grateful for where you've come, come because it's like, I've been waiting for this and it's finally here. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and put some tarot on it.
Yeah, because you're, you're becoming very knowledgeable. You're com becoming very professional. You know that at the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, any damn time of the day, that you need to go ahead and stay towards your true north note and not worry about anybody that's trying to like step in your way or bring you out of your character because whatever you're manifesting right now, you know that it's going to be like some type of practical way that this comes about and you don't have no time for anybody to go ahead and come in your way and try to deter you from that because you know your goals you know your your um aspirations that you want to meet and you know how to do it you have to continue and be that consistent and continue to do that meditation and that self-work and show yourself that self-love right then we have the seven of cups right so there have definitely been a lot of choices here there's been a lot of wishful uh, thinking there's been um a lot of things that have been driving you as well as a lot of things that have been you know on your mind and you've been trying to release them yeah you've been trying to release all this all of these things that no longer serve you there's been a lot of strife there's been a lot of tension there's been a lot of competition it was a no-win situation and you know that you have to walk away from that you know that you have to walk away from that because um once you walk away from this, it's definitely going to be, like, it's, it, it has left you stuck for a long time, for sure. But once you walk away from this, it's definitely going to lead to abundance. Yeah, it's going to lead to, thank you, Spirit Guys, for confirmation. It's definitely going to lead to temperance, right? It, it's, you're going to have that balance. You're going to have that moderation. You're going to have that that um, rhythm and harmony. It's going to harmony. It's going to be blending. And there, there may be a lot of inner demons that you have to face, but there's definitely strength that you have here. There's definitely strength that you have here um, to subdue your inner demons and to go ahead and work towards that true north note. And you do have to defend your therapy territory or maybe have your guard up a bit. But there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. The, the use your discernment. Definitely continue to use your discernment because whenever you're following your, like, two things that are essential, it's, it's going to be your discernment and it's going to be your um, intuitive nudges. So continue to follow the, your intuition as well as you, using your discernment and you'll be just fine. Yeah. And and it's like, there's a lot of nostalgic mo moments that you keep on thinking about, like things from the past, things that like woulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda, shouldas, or things that you don't even know, like how, how would they end up or whatever, but you know that you have to transition and surrender away from this. All of these things that no longer serve you, you have to let go of that, right? You're, you're definitely seeing a lot of things different. And, like, we had this here twice. We had this here twice. So, it, it's definitely, like, you have this twice. So, you're, you're definitely manifesting um, a lot right now. You're definitely um, working on yourself a lot. You're a very powerful manifester. And you're and you're definitely just um, continue, continuing to do yourself so that, you know, you can have that be abundance. Because at the end of the rainbow, at, at the end of everything, is definitely that milk and honey for you, right? Yeah, and then we have the Ace of Cups. Oh, y'all. It's bugs out here. And then we have the Ace of Cups. Um, so, yeah, we, we have that, this um, new um, compassion, this new compassionate um, thing that's coming up in your life that's going to, that's, oh, y'all. Sorry, y'all. There's bugs, like, flying around me. Anyway, so there's um, this new compassionate um, beginning, and it's, and it's going to be worth your while. It's going to be worth your while. It's going to be very successful. It's going to be leading you to a, to abundance. And I just saw the Ten of Cups. So it's definitely going to be happiness there. It's going to be satisfaction. It's going to be all of that, which you never imagined that you could have. It's going to be all of that. Yeah, and you have to get out of your head because whenever you're in your head, it's not going to lead you anywhere. You're having a lot of sleepless nights. You're regretting a lot. Um, there may be some delays here, but you're, I mean, you have to get out of your head. Look what I have at the bottom of the deck and I saw the emperor as well. So take it how it resonates because with you, you have fertility, you have abundance. You you um, can definitely um, nurture all of that, right? You're very stable. You're very grounded. You're very down to earth and you have all of that within you. So continue to work on yourself. And as you do this and as you grow and as you learn, it's going to be abundance coming for you. It's abundance for coming for you, right? All right. Well, don't forget to get your energy in, Aries. Like, comment, subscribe for all of your manifestation needs. Head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.